to Mass Live. Again, I've forgotten how to use the stream. Right. Hi, Harry in Nottingham. Hello. Hi, Leo. Hi, Zach and Henry. Hi. Hi, Owen in Wales. Hi, Sam. Welcome. Hi, Mariam. Welcome. Okay, so before, oh, before I do any others, here's your challenge question from yesterday. What are the factors of 32? Have a go at that. Let's see who's going to get some answers up. Hi, Bella in Belfast. Hi, Zach in Kent. Hi, Kitty. Welcome. Okay, so I'm just going to put that down. Get started. My favourite comment from yesterday's lesson was the parent who said um, that they, you know, they were, I think, the same age as me, 34, and they were saying, like, how they just, like, now they've got factors from yesterday's lesson. I that, honestly, that, it means so much. And, like, you're not stupid for not getting it beforehand because, like, the stuff you guys learn at primary school, um, I was, you, we didn't learn until at secondary school, things like algebra and ratio and, you know, and so many parts of perimeter and area. So you guys are doing brilliantly. So it's us adults that are playing catch up to you guys. <laughs> so factors of 32. So what that means is what numbers, what times tables is 32 in? What times tables is 32 in? And I like to do a factor spider. Like I say, I know of you, a few of you do factor rainbows. Um, it's very, very similar. So what that is, so if I have 1 and 32 as my example, some people say, what do you mean by factor rainbows? Basically, the rainbow is, so you do 1 and 32 like that. And then, right, so then we know it's in the 2s because it's an even number. So what do we times 2 by to make 32? Well, that's 16. 2, 16. So you would do 2. And 16. I'm only doing, doing this because some people are asking. Uh, is it in the threes? Well, no, 11th is 33. Is it the fours? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. Yes. 4 times 8 is 32. So you do 4 and 8. Is it the fives? No, it doesn't end with a 5 or a 0. Is it in the sixes? No, because 5, 6 is 13, 6, 6 is 36. Is it in the sevens? Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35. No, nope. we've already got the eights. Or nine, nine, well, sorry, the nines. One nine is nine, two nine is 18, three nine is 27, four nine is 36. So the factors of 32 are one, two, four, 32, 16, 18. I like to present it as a factor spider, but a factor rainbow is just as good, just as good. So well done. So today, We've done factors and we're going to move on to its opposite number okay because i think they're really closely linked and some of you are saying can we not do this can we not do this topic because it links the factors and i was like no 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 hang on that's what we're doing today prime numbers and again i think i said yesterday for some reason it's I don't know, kids don't like them. Kids don't like them, and I think we should just feel sorry for them. You'll see why. But prime numbers aren't actually that scary. Um, the difference between prime numbers and factors. Factors have lots of numbers in their times table. Which one was it yesterday? Was it something like 38 that had loads and loads and loads of um, uh, factors? I can't remember which one it was. But we, we saw with the number that we've just done, lots of numbers, okay? Lots of times tables, that number it's in. But poor old prime numbers, the complete opposite, okay? Because prime numbers are not in any other times table apart from one and its own. So if I give you an example, number five, well, what are the factors of five? Okay, so we do the most obvious. One and five. We always remember that when we're doing our factors. And then is it in the twos? No. Is it in the three times table? Three, six, no. Is it in the fours? No. Is it in the five times table? Yes. And that's it, because obviously six, seven, eight is too high. So poor old five 
It's only in the ones and the fives. Therefore, it is a prime number. So whatever, if you have a number that you're looking for the factors for and it's only got one in itself, it is a prime number. It's a very, very lonely number. Okay. Now, I've put three challenge questions up today. This is actually going to be quite a short lesson because you can do endless number of um, factors, but prime, because there's... Because there's not, obviously it doesn't have many, it doesn't have any factors apart from one itself, it's going to be quite limited. So if I give you, I'm going to give you two numbers and I want you to see which one you can work out, whether it's prime, okay? The two numbers are 15 and 17. Which one is the prime number and why? So can you try and work out the factors of each of those numbers? While I come back and see what we're up to. Ooh, lots, lots, lots. Hi, Cara in Northern Ireland. Welcome. Hi, Alicia. Hi. Hi, Jay in Cannonball in Ireland. Hi, Oscar. Welcome. If you missed factors, factors is yesterday's lesson. So if you missed yesterday's lesson, um, after this lesson, you can either go on my YouTube page and watch it, or you can go on the page and back and watch it. That was yesterday's lesson. Hi Sam, Ennis Gillen, hope I pronounced that right, brilliant, yeah, like I say factor rainbows, some people do factor spiders, some people do factor rainbows, they are exactly the same thing, so don't worry if you haven't heard one of them, okay, brilliant, super, right, some people have got an answer, so, 15, factors of 15. We know that they both have one in themselves. So that's the same for both of them. Neither of them are in the two times table because they're not even numbers. 15, right, three. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, right. It's in the threes and the fives, okay? Is it in the fours? No. Is it in the fives? We've got the fives. Is it in the sixes? Six, 12, no, not in the sevens. That's it. There's no other factors of 15. Right, 17. So it's in the two, no, it's not in the twos. Is it in the threes? Well, 15, so 15, 18, no, it's not in the threes. Four, eight, 12, 16, not in the fours. That's it. So 17 is the prime number because 15, as you can see, it's got two other factors apart from itself poor 17 hasn't got any so if you were going to my three challenge questions were how would you explain a prime number to someone and you would say that it's just not in any other times tables apart from the ones and its own times table so for example two is literally in the one times table one times one is one one times two is two, and that's it. Yeah. Um, and then I asked you, so I want you to all do this now. If you haven't already done it. I would like you to write the numbers. Oh, not one. I'll tell you why not one in a minute. The numbers, two to 19 on your page. Actually, while I'm doing this, can anyone tell me why I've rubbed out the number one? Can anyone tell me why I rubbed out the number one? Let's have a look. Why have I rubbed out the number one? <laughs> because one is not a prime number. True. But there's a special reason why one is not on this board. Okay. Because it's not a prime number, but one doesn't have any factors either. Does anyone know what it's called? Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> You're all sort of correct. It is not a prime number. Okay, I'll come back to you. Okay. Right. I've asked you to write the numbers 2 to 19. And what I'd like you to do is methodically, and methodically means take your time and work through, and I'd like you to cross out 
all the numbers that are not prime, that are not prime. So we should only be left with the prime numbers. So what you'll do is go through and go, right, is this, we know two, we've already done that two is a prime number. So you'd go through, right, three. Is three in any other times tables apart from its own? Work through and then see which numbers you're left with. Off you go. Let's see if anyone comes up with. Good, thank you for your answer. That's good. I love that loads of you have um, given your opinion on that. Hi, Miriam and Khadija in London. Hi. <laughs> I love that. It's up to debate. I've said that so many times in the last few weeks when we came to shapes and stuff like that. This is actually not up to debate, but I like that you've sort of taken my motto there. <laughs> it's up to debate. <laughs> If you just join, we're working out which one of these are prime numbers and which of them are not using our knowledge of times tables and factors. So we already know that two is a prime number because two doesn't appear in any other time tables apart from the one times table and the two times table. And if there are any other numbers here that only appear in the ones and its own times table, they are also prime numbers. Oh, I've got some lists coming in. Okay. Here we go. Oh, right. Okay. So two, yes. Three is a prime number because it only appears in the ones and the threes, not in the two times table. And then it can't obviously be in the fours or the fives because those numbers are too big. Okay, four. Does four appear in any other times tables apart from the ones and the fours? Yes, it appears in the twos. Now, all even numbers are in the two times tables. So what you can immediately do is cross out all the even numbers because they're all in the two times table. So that's a lot of numbers gone very, very quickly. Okay. Why I've picked 19, by the way, is that you're supposed to be able to recite quickly what the prime numbers up to 19 are. So, okay. so that's why I've picked up to 19. Five is a prime number because it's not in the twos or the threes or the fours. Okay. Same with seven. Seven's a prime number. Okay. Nine. Now, is that a prime number? Well, I've spotted a lot of them are odd so far. And you know, because I crossed out the even, the very, a very common thing I then get told is, oh, well, it's odd, so it must be a prime number. But no, because nine is in the ones, the nines, and the, shout it out, what other times table is nine in? Threes, it's in the three times table. So it is not a prime number, okay? It's not because it's in the three times table. 11, right, 11's not in the twos, it's not in the threes, it's not in the fours, it's not in the, nah, it's a prime number. Because we know it's not in any other times table. 13, that's a funny one. It's in the threes, no, three, six, nine, twelve, no. Fours, four, eight, twelve, no. Fives, definitely not. Six, six, twelve, seven, seven, four, prime number. Okay? 15. Now it's 15 the prime number, so it's in the 1s and the 15s, it's not in the 2s, 3s, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, it's not a prime number. 17, if you put 17, you are correct, it is a prime number, and so is 19. So the prime numbers up to 19 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Well done if you've got those. But like I say, just working through it is absolutely fine. The number one, I briefly mentioned, you are correct. I did put the number one there because it's not a prime number. And yes, some of you are saying that it's sort of too small because it's only in the ones and its own, which is still the number one. One is called a composite number. A 
and that just means that one is sort of it, like I say, you've you sort of said it correctly a lot of you because it's just one, it's not one and something else, it's not one and three or one and two, it's a composite number, so it means it's like a base number, so it can't even be because it's not in two another like two times tables, it's only in its one, so it's called a composite number, it's like a special number on its own. And then zero is a placeholder, okay? So one is composite. Zero is a placeholder. So, well, we've done all the numbers up to 19. So, have I finished the lesson? Not quite. Because sometimes in year six, and certainly into secondary school, you could be asked, right, is that a prime number? And you'd be thinking, huh? How am I supposed to know that? Because we're only taught to know up to 19. You're supposed to be able to know, you know, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, so on. This is not in our times tables. This is beyond 19. So how do I find that out? Well, all you've got to do is see if there's any factors of 87. But I've got a little trick for you, okay? You don't have to go through all your times tables to check this. All you need to do is try dividing it by three and see if you can divide it by three as a whole and see if you can divide it by four. You don't need to do your twos because you would know if it was in the two times table because it would end in an even number. You know it's not in the fives because it doesn't end in a five or zero. Okay. Now, if it divides by 3, it will be in the 6 times table. If it divides by 4, it will be in the seven, it'll be in the 8 times table. Okay? And then 7. So those are the only three numbers you need to try because it will be in any other times table. So 87, I'll do bus stop, divide by 3. 3, 6, that's 2, remainder 2. 1, 3 is 3, 2, 3 is 6, 3, 3 is 9, 4, 3 is 12, 5, 3 is 15, 6, 3 is 18, 7, 3 is 21, 8, 3 is 24, 9, 3 is 27. So 87 is not a prime number. It appears in the three times tables. So that is what you do. Any number that you've got, I've lost my piece of paper. Any number you've got, here it is, you just divide it using bus stop to see if it's in one of those times tables. So, here's your challenge. 59, is 59 a prime number? Have a go. I love that, you're like, Steph, it's nine. Well done. Well done, yes, I'm saying, yay. Yeah, no, it can't, don't say it's odd, so it's a prime number, because if you think, 15 is in the threes and the five times table, so a number ending in five is an odd number, but it's a multiple of five, so if you think five, 15, 25, it's an odd number, but it's in the five times table. Same with uh, 33, that's in the 11s and the threes, 39's in the threes, so be careful. All even numbers above two are not prime because they're in the two times tables, but there are some odd numbers that are also not prime because they're in, say, the threes or the sevens, say. Okay. Oh, we've got mix. Some people saying it is prime, some people saying it's not prime. So let's find out. Right, 59. Okay, we know it's not in the twos because it doesn't end in either number. So divide it by three, so you can fit one three in, and there's two left over, okay? 29 does not fit into three, so it's definitely not in the three times table, okay? So we'll try the fours, okay? So we've got one remains a one, 19 doesn't fit into four, okay? And then 
next one is we know our seven times seven, seven times table. Seven sevens are 49, eight sevens are 56. So it is prime. It is a prime number. Okay, one more. Eighty-three. Actually, no, we've done a lot on the eighty. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Is sixty-seven a prime number? Have a go. Oh, Jake, you were working on prime numbers yesterday. Amazing. Excellent, well done, brilliant. Just like you say, yep, prime, prime, prime. <laughs> oh, we've got an answer for this one already. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to write it a couple of times. I know we might, we might find that it's in threes. So how many threes can you fit into six? Two. How many threes can you fit in seven? It doesn't work. There's going to be a remainder. So it's not in the threes. How many fours can you fit into six? One. Two left over. 27 is not in the four times table. Oh, one more. Okay. So, well, seven, six to 42. Eight, six, eight, sorry, seven, seven to 49, eight, seven to 56, nine, seven to 63, and 10, seven to 70. So it is prime. It is a prime number. So that's the way to work it out. Brilliant. So we've covered prime numbers and factors. Okay, so if you missed yesterday's lesson on factors, you can catch up on my YouTube channel. And then the rest this week from tomorrow, we're going to be learning about bod mass, bod mass or bid mass. Again, different places call it different things. Bod mass slash bid mass. If you don't know what it is, amazing. Okay, um, it's going to be over the next three days. It's a brilliant topic. So I hope you can join me for that. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day and try the challenge question that I'm going to post at the end of this lesson. See you later. Bye bye.